This is a tutorial on make files. If I have a source code, a C source code or any sort of source code which I want to compile and execute and it might happen like the source code is in its development phase and is very likely to be changed. So I would be required to recompile. When it is just one file to be recompiled it's fine but when it comes to thousands of files contributing to a software then the recompiling those thousand of the thousand files would be difficult because compilation takes a lot of time and if we were supposed to like compile only the file which is which has been changed then it's difficult to identify which of thousand files have been changed so we can utilize something called as make files which can determine whether the source code is changed or not and hence it requires recompilation or not so <coughs> let us start writing a simple make file just for a single file source.c which would compile it only if source.c has been modified so i'll use emacs editor for this looking at the name make file emacs automatically recognizes that it's a gnu make file now this make file should have uh, in general make files have something called as targets and this make file should have two targets because I want to execute my source I mean I want to execute the binary version of this source code once compilation is done so I want execute and compile targets now these targets are words with colon at the end and they are entry point to make file default entry point is first target so first target is always default target default means if i type make and press return without any other argument then this first target would be executed make with an argument equal to the target name would uh, redirect the execution towards that target now let us proceed ahead Com for compilation we'll use gcc we'll give the source code and the output so compilation this compile target is supposed to execute this command for the command that has to be executed by a particular target there should be a tab this is a general rule in make files now this compilation should depend upon whether source.c has been modified or not so the dependency of this target is source.c now dependency and target name should be in one line that's why we'll put a backslash over here notice the space in between colon and backslash so this becomes one complete line if i don't give a space over here then it would be like compile colon and source.c one full word without any space so space is required over here before the backlash so this target has dependency source.c and then it executes gcc to compile it but still we we do not have or make doesn't have information about when source.c was compiled so we'll create a file by using touch command so touch also would also update the timestamp and the file name should be equal to target name this way make would be able to can evaluate or would be able to compare the timestamp of source.c against compile if source.c is new as compared to compile then recompilation is required otherwise not this way evaluation is done whether recompilation or execution of this command is required or not over here 
we can also have several other commands for an example so first gcc would be executed then echo would be executed and finally touch would be executed next time if we call compile then this won't be and none of these commands would be executed unless the timestamp of source.c is new as compared to compile let me save this and let us try this out now it's make without any argument is calling execute or exec target under which there is nothing to call compile i'll have to do make compile so that's compiling my source code if i do ls then i get to see the compiled version of source code make file is of course there and my compile target i mean the file corresponding to compile target if i do ls minus l then this timestamp is older as compared to compile so if i do make again make compile again then it would say that it is up to date <coughs> if i do touch compile that is the file corresponding to target compile oh if i uh, th then then it won't create any difference but if i do touch source dot c and if i do ls minus l then you can notice that this is new actually the seconds information is not seen over here so this is new as compared to compile target file so if i do make compile compilation would be, would be done again so this way we avoid recompilation uh, of file source.c now to have this executed automatically what we can do is we call dot slash source dot source so that way the binary version of source dot c would be executed but this still doesn't uh, like uh, if compilation is not at all done then uh, the execution would be won't be done or if like the source dot c gets updated then there is no dependency of uh, so execute on compile for an example like source dot c gets modified and uh, we are not calling compile by default we are calling execute by default so the source binary source won't be updated and we would be executing older version so we want that the execute target should have some dependency or like full dependency on compile so we can do that by mentioning the target name over here if i save this file and if i do make then whatever was written in printf statements gets printed over here and this shows that the source got executed <coughs> if i change my source dot c uh, by putting one more print up over here and i have saved this file now if i do ls minus l then source dot c is pretty much new as compared to compile so execution of gcc is required and let's see if it happens yeah and it's done that's so that's how uh, make files work
this is our simple make file for recompiling a source and executing and recompilation is done only if the source is modified that's all thank you